So I've been on a weight loss journey, if you don't know. Now you know. I've been seeing a lot on TikTok and YouTube shorts of people being like, do HIIT workouts, HIIT workouts are what's going to transform your body. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll do it. So I decided to do a HIIT workout challenge, but for two weeks. I've been using this creator's videos and honestly, I love them. I'm not gonna lie, I hated them at first. <laughs> but anyway, let's dive into the challenge. So this is my start. I don't usually give out my weight just because I find it irrelevant. Most of the time I see really good progress, but the thing is my weight does not change. Day one was really hard for me. I ended up stopping in the middle of the video. Technically I didn't stop in the middle of the video, but I'm being honest, there's like percentages in the video. I think I made it to like 40 something. So, but I did end up stopping because I thought I was gonna throw up. I felt that way for first three days at least. These right here were killer, I swear she was trying to kill me. And I kept going for the rest of the week. Anyway, this video was sped up and my dog was just standing there looking into literally nothing for a very long time. I thought it was so funny. It got easier, actually. I was really proud of myself. I actually see my legs getting more toned and my booty pop in because they make you do so many squats in these videos, it's ridiculous. I also noticed my stomach having a lot of changes because they make you do a lot of core workouts too. I just thought it was so funny that every time I work out, my dog decided it was time to eat, so she was like kind of in the way. This is probably the easiest it's been, this whole challenge. Eventually reached the end of the week and I am dying. I am so sore, I feel like I can barely move. Debated on even putting this into a video or continuing with this challenge because I stopped after a week because I gave myself no recovery time. Like I did not rest. Every day I was doing workout and it was to the point where like moving was really hard and <laughs> I just pushed myself way too much so I decided to stop. And then I also got sick. It's week two and I truly believed taking a break was gonna slow me down but I realized when I did the first day of week two, it didn't slow me down at all, actually. I was doing great and I felt a lot better than I did the week before. And I'm actually glad I took the break. I was low-key hating on these workouts because one thing you'll realize about this creator and her workouts is that she does a lot of squats and she does a lot of burpees and she does a lot of planks. But honestly, I feel like the things that were the hardest end up being like the ones that I was like more proud of myself for accomplishing. So I couldn't be too hard on myself. I do find the music in the videos to be a little bit boring. It's kind of unbearable, I'm not gonna lie. But I think that's just like any other YouTube workout videos. They always have that cringe royalty free music that you just can't stand. But other than that, I learned to love this. I'm not gonna lie, at first I was a big hater. I was like, I hate that we're doing so many squats. I hate that we're doing so many burpees. The more that I did it, the easier it got. I felt like it was actually working. Like I felt like my body was actually transforming. I haven't seen the results yet, so I don't know if that's true, but we'll see tomorrow. Today is my last day and I'm really nervous to see if any changes happened at all. But if it did, yay, if it didn't, next challenge i'm just kidding but i would be kind of shook considering how many squats and burpees i was forced to do let's see the results and here are my results um i feel like when you're looking straight at me you can't really tell but when you look at my side profile i feel like my boobs got smaller which like thank god and my lower back also looks more arched in um, I think it's also because of how many squats I was doing. My booty was popping, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, for two weeks, I say these are some pretty good results. I also kind of felt a lot better than I did before. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have no results at all because of my break that I took in between. But honestly, like I said before, I really do think the break helped me in the long run. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe give HIIT workouts a try. I mean, they're fun. If you have an EOS fitness uh, membership, they have like HIIT workout classes sometimes. Theirs are killer though, because they use like weights and everything. Oh my God. It's still really good. And I'm even debating doing that to be honest, because of how much I kind of enjoyed it and how much I enjoyed pushing myself. If you like this video, make sure to flick that like button and flick that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye.